Hey y'all. It's Friday. Yay! And it's lunchtime. So I went to HEB yesterday and got one of my favorite things to make pizza. I've used lots of different crusts, cauliflower crusts, you know, the, but this is one of my favorites. It's called Flatsa. Flatsa Buddy. And it comes with uh, five pizza crusts in here. And it's, it's in the section where you have all the different pizza crusts just hanging, not refrigerated. But once you open it, then you need to refrigerate it because it's made with sprouted grains like quinoa and millet and oats and barley and rye. So lots of, of good grains in here uh, to make a pizza. So I've started my pizza here. There's my little flatza. Now there's two different sizes of flatzas. There's a bigger one, but I use this little one. And uh, you can use goat cheese, um, you know, cheese substitute. This fresh mozzarella, uh, lots of veggies on it. I'm gonna um, put some mushrooms and onions and bell pepper and this beautiful purple calabash uh, tomato. I'm gonna slice some of it and put that on there. I have some real turkey from the deli. For, I'm gonna put some of that on there. And I've got my, um, you can put bacon if you want to. That's good with turkey. And I have my little toaster oven heating. It's a toaster convection. Heating to um, 400 degrees is what it says here and um, once I have my pizza made I'll you can do it on a pan if you have a stone I'm just gonna slide it in there on a rack because I want to get the bottom really crunchy this is kind of soft like a tortilla and um, you can also use those flatbreads to make to make pizzas with so um, this has this pizza crust has, uh, just the crust is seven grams of protein five grams of fiber and only two grams of sugar, three grams of fat, um, 26 carbs in the crust. So um, that's not bad for um, a pizza. Making pizzas, lots of fun with the kids. You can make it out of lots of different things. English muffins, um, bagels, those little flat bagel sandwich bread. And it's, it's lots of fun. And get your kids to eat some veggies. You can slice eggplant. You can put zucchini on there. And, uh, and get them to eat those veggies. So, hope you'll have a great weekend. Um, I don't know if this low humidity in the morning is going to last here in South Texas. Um, I've been working outside a lot. So, uh, get out and, and get moving and eat you something healthy. Bye, y'all. Okay, I baked my pizza for about 15 minutes. I wanted mine um, really crunchy around the edges, and it feels a little crunchy on the bottom, but I put a lot of veggies. Um, the more veggies you put that are raw, the more liquid that's released. Sometimes if you saute your vegetables ahead of time, um, that will help you. So this is what my pizza looks like and I'm gonna let it set and cool for a little bit while I prepare um, a chiffonade of basil so I ran out to the garden and grabbed me about three small basil leaves and I'm just going to roll them basil will turn colors on you very quickly when you handle it and cut it if you want it to last you would cut a stem and stick the stem in water so I'm just going to cut this very, very thin. I think it's called a chiffonade. I'm not a trained chef. I'm just a country cook. But I've been places where they do fancy stuff, and you know I like things fancy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fresh basil and just sprinkle it there on top. You could have done this um, on top of the pizza sauce before you cooked. You can put uh, garlic slices and, you know, it's um, 
we go to Mod Pizza occasionally, and they do toppings. That must, that's the thing, is to after your, your pizza's baked, to put a topping. Stephen always likes a spicy, hot spicy honey. Someone gave us this sweet, fiery sweet mesquite honey. Just drizzle on top a little bit, adds a nice uh, taste. Um, I know a lot of people eat ranch dressing with their pizza. They like to dip the crust in. Um, we used to go to a place called Bombay Pizza. It was an Indian type pizza. And the one we went to it was closed down. Hmm, it was really good. Um, they would mi mix ranch dressing with a hot sauce like sriracha. I do that sometimes. I mix these together and squirt it on top of my pizza. And um, But I'm not doing that today. I'm trying to keep down some of the, the calories and, and fat there. So so I'm gonna, when this is cool, I'm gonna cut it and, and eat it. So I uh, hope it's yummy. It should be, but I love pizza. That's just one of my things I like. So bye y'all.